Okay, hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about how to actually short sell a security. So for those that uh, aren't familiar with short selling, this is when you're actually trying to gain on um, the stock going down, the equity actually going downwards in, in price, uh, and you know we're trying to we're trying to make profit off that, of course. Uh, so I've got this idea. You going around, and I see there is a demand on how to actually place a, a short sell. You know, where do I get this option? And we're going to talk a little bit about that and uh, the things that kind of go into it, the things you should watch out for as well. Uh, but we're also going to talk about how to actually place a specific uh, sell order, a short sell order on Web Broker, which is the platform for TD Direct Investing. But uh, this is this is these are tips that you can take anywhere to any platform. On, uh, on any market <clears throat> that you're allowed to short sell, okay? So uh, first of all, what we, need, what we need to be doing is we need to be opening up a short account. So on Web Broker specifically, there are two options. You can have a, a, sh a Canadian short and a US margin short uh, account. Um, you can, I definitely have both. You know, this is, these are my accounts here, obviously blurred out the account number. Uh, I, I definitely have both just in case, uh, don't, you know, just in case you want to use both, uh, these are the currencies that that web broker has to offer. You know, you, you don't really want to pigeonhole yourself to one market, uh, and especially because you are Canadian, you do want to have that uh, that option as well. And obviously, the U.S. market is a lot larger. There, I think uh, Amazon or Apple, sorry, Apple, the market cap of Apple is. Um, you know, just as big, if not bigger than the actual Canadian market, right? So first of all, so first thing you want to do is open a short account. So no, you cannot play, you cannot short a security in a regular margin account or a cash account or anything like that. You will need to call them up and ask, please give me a, a margin short account. Uh, I don't, I'm not really familiar with the account opening process other than, you know, calling, uh, calling them in and direct investing and asking for them to open it, but you can obviously still do it at the branch. Um, previously, you know, I think, I think a better option would be to, to give them a call rather than going to the branch because it does take a long, long time. Uh, and also if it is, if you do already have a margin, I think they can add the short account, um, a lot easier for you. Okay. So once you have that done, it's just placing like a normal trade. Um, so we're just gonna use this uh, fake account here. So this, that's the actual trade option. So we're gonna go all the way to the top right corner. We're gonna click on buy slash sell. You can't really see it here, but it does say buy slash sell when you actually go to your web broker account. When we go to the second, uh, when, when you open the buy slash sell, you're gonna choose your short accounts at the top. Let's just say, for example, we have the margin short account. And let's say we're doing equity, okay? So like normal, we're gonna be typing in the symbol or the name, it's gonna populate there for you. You click that to make it populate. You click on the short sell option. You do click the quantity that you want to uh, to short. The price type, the order types, I'm not gonna go into that one. I did go into that one into another video. So, uh, you know, if you, if you want, you can go into the, uh, my channel and you can ch see that video on the different order types, market, limit, uh, trailing, and stop market, and so forth. And the good sell, uh, that's not something that we're, 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 sp we're speaking about. That might be something in an another video, but for right now, and in all intents and purposes, I think you know most of the time you're just gonna have it on, on a day expiry, okay? Especially if you're just kind of trading these like, uh, you know, right away and now you don't really have like a, a long term, uh, you know, day trading uh, strategy. OK, so uh, you're just going to fill all those in. It's going to kind of look like this. So, for example, by the way, disclaimer, I'm not recommending you to sell, short sell, buy or anything with Enbridge. It's just Enbridge is a well-known company in Canada. So I just typed that in. Um, so let's say, for example, Enbridge. Selling, a, let's say, 100, uh, 100 shares of Enbridge uh, at market and good for the day. Uh, so we're going to preview order. I did change the quantity to one, but don't really don't don't worry too much about that. The quantity can, any, can be anything you want. Um, you do want to actually look into this. So it does give you the phone number. There is a, a, a warning, right? So it does have increased risk because they sh like creating a short position uh, does have 
some things that actually go into it, right? So we'll talk about that at the end. But if you're if you don't care about any of that right now, you know, you just want to skip ahead. This is kind of where you can uh, pretty much stop the video. You're just going to be inputting uh, your trade as as normal, and then you're going to press agree and send after you've read everything, right? You you guys do want to make sure that uh, it is letting you go through. You do want to check your buying power and how much it's going to be, and you you do have to remember that prices are going uh, up and down at any moment, right? So you know, whatever it says here after you press agree and send, especially if it's a market order, could be higher or lower than what you were um, uh, estimating. Okay, So <clears throat> this is kind of what the the um, screen is going to look like. The pi buying power and the actual uh, amount is going to differ because the buying power could be less than the amount. Uh, that's also another thing that we have to go into another video. But uh, uh, this, this these are kind of things you just want to check that the quantity, the price type, and what you're actually doing is correct, okay? So then you're gonna press agree and send, and you're all set. So some things to remember uh, prior to short selling is that if there's dividends on stock, you know, for example, Enbridge, you do have to cover the dividend that is owed during the short sell. So the person that you're borrowing from, or the company that you're borrowing from, or the dealer that you're borrowing from is owed at uh, uh, dividends. So that's taken from your account as long as you're holding the security. Uh, sorry, as long as you're short the security. Uh, so what actually shorting is, is you're borrowing uh, shares from someone else, uh, immediately selling them, and then it's putting you in a short position. So you're short 100 shares, let's say. So, you know, to exit a short position, you got to buy yourself out. What does that mean? You got to cover, uh, you got to cover whatever you're negative, right? So if you're negative 100 shares, that means you need to give back 100 shares at whatever price, right? So obviously you want to you want to buy them for lower than you sold them, right? So that old dodge buy low, sell a high, it still applies that you're just, you know, sell high now to buy low later. You know, that's a really good way to, to remember it, okay? Uh, so this was also part of the scam. You can be margin call at any time. So what does that mean? Uh, the margin call is when you're very low on margin, so you don't have enough security or... Uh, liquidity, if you guys know that word, or cash in your account to cover uh, your position. So uh, you, once you're, you're you're told you're in a margin call, you do have to put money in there right away or, or, or means. Uh, if not, they'll force you out of your position, which means they'll sell enough of whatever you have in your account, um, starting with, I think, the least, the most liquid one. Uh, so whatever is can be sold very quickly. So if you have a money market, for example, they'll sell that. Uh, and so they can cover your margin position. So uh, the, the final thing is that there's an added risk to short selling. So for example, if you're, I'll, I'll give you guys, um, if you're on the long side, right? If you're purchasing a security, you can only lose the money that you've invested, right? So that's why they tell you only invest where you, you uh, can stomach losing. So, you know, worst case scenario, you put in 500 bucks, you lose 500, you know, and but that that's what you stomached and you accepted, that's fine. That's the worst case scenario. But in short selling, the worst case scenario is you owe infinity, right? You can own an infinite amount of money because uh, in theory, the stock could go up forever, right? So overnight, it goes up 20 bucks from its original position, you still gotta cover it. And you you might not be able to afford it uh, because you, know, you, you didn't, you don't have the money for it because there was no ceiling on it, right? So uh, those are that's kind of how to short sell a security and some things to remember. Uh, in the comments, you can always ask or anything like that uh, if you have if you want to clear up anything or if you guys want me to go into further detail or can you can you make a video specifically on this? So be sure to 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 put that in the comments. All in that, like for the YouTube algorithm so you do get more um, notifications of these. Uh, videos and it goes around quickly and please subscribe and uh, consider commenting okay thank you and